Hi guys, it's just a quick video I wanted to show you our enhanced oil pressure regulator for the RX-8 along with the front pressure regulator shims. They're sat on our oil pan baffle for the Series 1 RX-8 as well. These have all got to be installed in a customer's car, so we thought it was an ideal opportunity to show you how to install the regulator and shims. Stay tuned, that's coming up next. Our enhanced oil pressure regulator is built off of an OEM Mazda part. It's designed to fit just like the original. It's actually got a higher bypass pressure, much closer to that of the R3, which we see have a lot less bearing issues. The front two shims that come with it, they're designed to go into the front oil pressure regulator, which sits on the front cover. So we're gonna go across the installation. Okay, so the most common installation of this would be with the engine in the vehicle. You can see in the front there, just on the front cover, the 23 mil headed cap for the front oil pressure relief valve. We're gonna crack that off with a half inch ratchet and a 23 mil socket. Once we've loosened that off, we're going to unscrew it by hand. It can be a little bit fiddly. There will probably be some oil come out of this. We have drained the engine extensively because we've obviously also dropped the oil pickup. But as you can see, as we take the cap off, as the relief valve is still retained within the front cover, but you can see the spring and the cap. Okay, next up, we're gonna be installing the shims contained within the your oil pressure regulator packet. So there's the shims, pop them in the bottom of the cap, and then use the spring to make sure they're seated down nice and flat against the bottom. Set the spring, cap, and shims, and reinstall back into the relief passage, ensuring that you haven't lost the plunger, which is normally retained in the front cover. The job of the shims that we're installing into the front cover here is to help increase the oil pressure during idle. While we have found that simply installing our enhanced oil pressure regulator into the rear location of the engine block can do this. To some extent, if you really want to bump up your idle oil pressure, then installing these front shims is a must. The next step is to torque the front oil pressure regulator cap to the correct spec. Here we're going to be torquing it to 44 Nm. The actual range is 39.2 to 49 Nm. With the front regulator torque to spec, it's now time to move to the rear. You can see here we've removed the rear regulator using a 26mm socket and a ratchet bar. Selection of these can be difficult because it is quite a tight space. We've also cleaned the threads out using some brake cleaner and allowed them to dry because we're going to be using some green Loctite to install the new regulator into place and torque it down. Right on cue, here's the green Loctite. We're using green because it's not exactly a permanent install, but it gives us a little extra insurance to make sure the regulator doesn't come out, even though we're talking it to the correct specifications. Take the regulator with the green Loctite and carefully screw the regulator into place by hand, ensuring that you do not cross thread the regulator into the engine block. This would be a bad thing and really ruin your day. Now, while I continue to screw the rear oil regulator into place into the rear iron of the engine block, I guess now would be a great time to tell you what it does. The oil regulator located into the rear iron of most rotary engines up to and including the Series 1 RX-8. Mazda's designers decided not to include an oil pressure regulator in the rear of the engine for the R3. The job of the rear oil regulator is to increase the oil pressure at higher RPMs right up to the maximum red line. The stock RX-8 oil pressure regulator will normally max out at 80 PSI, whereas the Essex Rotary Enhanced Oil Pressure Regulator is designed to run much closer to the R3's internal engine pressure, an engine we see much fewer bearing failures on. With the rear oil regulator now screwed into place, we're going to torque it up using a half inch torque wrench 26 mil socket and we're going to torque it to around 70 Nm. The actual range for this is 68.6 to 78.4 Nm. So with the rear oil regulator now torqued into place, all that remains is to reinstall the rest of your oil pan components, fill up with oil and enjoy your increase in oil pressure. To order your Essex Rotary Enhanced Oil Pressure Regulator for your Series 1 RX-8, head over to our website at essexrotary.co.uk. You'll find the link in the description below the video. There you'll also find our oil baffle plates, Greddy oil pans and many other parts for your RX-8 and RX-7.